Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Everything OneNote. Today I'm going to show you how you can use OneNote to essentially request files. Um, something I get asked a lot is um, if I'm only using OneNote and I want students to kind of put um, files or videos or something into their OneNote, what's the best way of doing it? Um, OneNote doesn't tend to particularly like large files. Okay. Um, all got to do with syncing time and uploading and downloading times. So what I'm going to show you is kind of a handy little hint um, or a little backdoor way of doing basically what we call a file request. So what we actually do is we want to start in our OneDrive. So if I click back here and go to my OneDrive, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a folder. Okay, so if I go here to new and I select folder and Let's say that I am after some videos from students. So I'm going to write um, video upload and then create that folder. Let me just give that a second. There it is. What I can do is if I select that folder at the top of my OneDrive, I have this ability here to do a request files. So if I'm going to click on request files, and here I can write in the name of what it is that I'm requesting. So let's say, you know, I'm after the, the media video, okay, or it could be anything Mother's Day video or um, videos about monkeys, it doesn't really matter. Just kind of write a description in there. And then I'm going to go next, okay, and it's going to generate this link for me. So what I want to do is I want to go copy, and then I can go done. And that has been created. What I then do in my OneNote is that, you know, I, the OneNote page might have the activity and the steps with the learning intention, success criteria, everything built into it. But at some point, what you want to do is, you know, write something like, um, you know, click um, here to upload your video. And then what I'll do is I click, oh, I'm sorry, I highlight over the word here, I right click. I go link and then I paste our link in that we just took before and go insert. What's going to happen is the students will be able to hover over this and then they'll be able to click on here and then in my um, on my OneDrive, okay, students will be automatically taken to this place saying that the teacher's name is requesting files for media video. We can go to select files. Okay, here I can you know, let's grab this one. It's an image, it's not a video, but it's the same thing. So it'll take a JPEG. I can go upload. It's going to upload that file for me and go on, thank you very much. And then we can upload, keep um, uploading um, files each time as we need. What's then gonna happen if I flick back to my OneDrive here and I go and click the video upload folder is there is the JPEG that I just put in there. So it automatically puts the name, okay, if they're logged in with their user identity, um, they will put their name in front of it. It will say who it was modified by, you know, when it was last modified, file size and all that information, which is sometimes useful. Okay, so great little way of kind of capturing students' work. It comes into your OneDrive. So um, you're not kind of having to go into their OneDrive and find their work, or you're not getting their work to be uploaded into their OneNote just all of a sudden find your OneNote, you know, um, aren't functioning the way they used to, you know, they're going really slow. So I think that's a really helpful little hint. I hope that you guys find it useful and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.